joining us. Crew 9 splashed down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time with NASA astronauts Nick Haig, Butch Wilmore, Sonny Williams, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. They're now working through procedures uh, to hoist this, this spacecraft up onto the recovery vessel Megan. We just saw that hydraulic arm get lowered into the lifting position. That arm will be the mechanism that is utilized to lift Dragon up and out of the water and into the, uh, the nest located there at the aft end of the recovery vessel. And the recovery vessel being used today is, um, as we mentioned multiple times, is named Megan, but that's actually after NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur, who flew on Crew 2 a couple of years ago. We're getting some views now from actually on so inside the boat. Yeah, Drag you're exactly right. Uh, this view is uh, straight down the recovery vessel. Uh, that platform that was closest to the camera, that is the egress platform. Freedom, rigging is almost complete. Approximately five minutes until capsule lift. Great news there from SpaceX 4. So about five minutes left until we see Dragon Freedom get lifted out of the water. That hydraulic arm, as I said before, is the mechanism that will lift it. Uh, it's it's quite swift, actually, the, the whole process of getting the, the spacecraft. Brace for capsule lift. Bracing. There it goes, Dragon Freedom being lifted out of the water and onto our recovery vessel, Megan. So once securely on, uh, welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks and stand by for translation to the egress platform. Freedom copies. Great news there, letting us know that Dragon Freedom has been successfully recovered from the water's surface. If you've just joined us, we had an on-time splashdown at 5.57 p.m. Eastern Time, and we can now see that the uh, water recovery operations uh, are continuing to progress. The nest where the Dragon spacecraft is located is going to um, get moved forward. This will happen after one of the recovery crew members uh, does some checks and uh, we'll also see some hosing. Obviously, the spacecraft splashed down in salt water. Salt water is corrosive and we want to try and rinse out as much of the salt water as possible to reduce that corrosion uh, on the metallic structures. So we can see some guidance there being provided, really steering the spacecraft uh, properly into the dragon's nest. And it's been 30 minutes since Dragon splashed down. And as you can see there, the spacecraft is already on board the recovery vessel, Megan. Things continuing to move very smoothly today throughout the entire operations from the deorbit burn um, up until this point as well. And Freedom, it looks like the positioning wasn't quite right. So they are working on repositioning the capsule in the nest now. Okay, copy that. Thanks. And with that, the team is just going to adjust uh, the Dragon spacecraft a bit so that it's in the right position ahead of translating up a little bit closer ahead of the side hatch. So the team is now going to step through the procedures to uh, ensure that that takes place. While Dragon does fly itself autonomously, it clearly is unable to park itself autonomously. We want to make sure that the Dragon capsule is properly seated there in that nest. Yeah. 
Once the when, once dragon is fully seated in the nest, we'll probably see a bunch of that salt water come out from the bucket there located underneath the the, the side hatch. See some salt water splash out. As I mentioned before, one of the recovery team members will begin uh, hosing down the exterior of the spacecraft. So you are continuing to get some great live views on your screen of Crew 9, which includes NASA astronauts Nick Haig, Sonny Williams, Butch Wilmore, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander uh, Gorbanov, who splashed down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida, 2.57 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon. Now working to uh, get that spacecraft uh, situated in the nest. Just making some final adjustments and tweaks to ensure that it's nice and secure. Once the spacecraft is uh, seated and secured and oriented correctly in the nest, Dragon will be moved uh, into the hangar located underneath that helipad that we saw earlier from the aerial views during recovery. All right, Freedom, looks like you are settled into the nest now. Team is working through hypergolf sweeps. Call out there telling us that the recovery team is doing the second round of those hypergolic sweeps. This helps ensure that everyone, all the recovery team members that are located basically right where this camera is located on, you know, towards the forward end of the recovery vessel, that they will all be safe uh, once, the, once the spacecraft is translated forward. So we're just doing some additional steps to make sure that the hypergolic propellant that is utilized for maneuvering the Dragon capsule while on orbit, making sure that none of those vapors uh, are... And there you have it. The side hatch is open for the first time since September. We can see some of the protective uh, equipment there that was brought into frame that will help protect the, the edge of the side hatch one from any potential damage. Oh, we can see the recovery crew member there taking photos of the, the side hatch seal. This is part of the standard operation for recovery. These photos will get saved into our, into our procedure. We'll then install that protective frame around the side hatch. This helps to ensure that the side hatch itself, the, the, the edges of it incur no damage while crew members are coming out from the spacecraft. If you missed it, there was also a recovery team member that went inside. So there are now five people uh, on board the Dragon spacecraft. And if you are just joining us, it has not yet even been an hour since Crew 9 splashed down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time. The crew is now on board the recovery vessel Megan and the hatch is open. The next major milestone that we'll see is when the crew will actually egress or exit the spacecraft. But before that, they'll continue to, um, the recovery personnel rather, will continue to install that protective um, area around the hatch and then remove the footrests. So we're a couple minutes away from seeing the crew egress, but not too, too long away.
We'll probably see those foot rests being handed out here in the near future, as I mentioned before. Oh, of course, we got to get a well-documented <laughs> photo of the moment. I, although we can't see it from here, I'm pretty sure there are four smiles on board right now. And we did hear that report out from the commander, Nick Haig, following splashdown that there were four, four smiles as far as he could see. Yeah, capsule full of grins. <laughs> <laughs> Now, generally speaking, um, and, and there we do see crew nine, some happy waves, smiles all around back on Earth. So we are standing by for that egress. Outside of Dragon, you do see one of those stretchers. This is the expected procedure as the crew will be taken to medical facilities following their exit from Dragon. We can see folks on board clapping as our first crew member. And that is NASA astronaut Nick Haig, commander of Crew 9. Now out of Crew Dragon Freedom. Some smiles, thumbs up, and a wave. Can't get any better than that. Yeah, that is one happy. Next step out of the capsule, we expect Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov, his first space flight, spent 171 days in space alongside NASA astronaut Nick Haig. Looks like we're getting some cheers and clapping on board as Alexander is slid down the little ramp and placed into the mobility aid. Again, big smile. <laughs> movable working room inside the inside the spacecraft. There is a recovery crew member inside that is helping all of our um, all of our crew nine crew egress or exit from the spacecraft. For those of you that have just recently joined, the Dragon had an on-time splashdown. Oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sonny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility aid. There we have it, some waves, some thumbs up, and some smiles. Leaves NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore inside Dragon in seat four. We're getting some views of him now as he egresses or exits the spacecraft. Once again, some elation and cheers there from Butch Wilmore, as we mentioned before, returning to Earth from coming from a microgravity environment can wreak havoc on the bodies. 